Welcome to it. Uh, we are taking the first problem that is a rod AB 60 mm long. So rod length is given, rod name is given that is 60 mm long. Oscillate about the point A. So the rod AB, so the oscillating point is the end B. The point P, which is initially at the end A, so the moving point P is initially at point A, starts moving uniformly along, uniformly along the rod towards the end B. It means our P point is initially at A and it starts moving uniformly towards B and come back to original position A. So point P started to move from A, reach to B and come back to its original position A. When, when the rod oscillates one complete cycle. The rod oscillation first right, first to right by 60 degree and then to lay by the same angle from its vertical position. So we are going to draw whenever such kind of problem is there, oscillation problem is there. So it is always most uh, easy if we draw that wrong position is that vertical. So we will draw first vertical line for the rod position. Rod is 60 mm. Suppose I am starting from this uh, 11. So a, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So this is my rod original position. 60 mm. Remember, if there is a oscillation kind of problem, so it becomes really easy if the oscillating point is a top point. So you will mark this as a B point, oscillating A. And this is as a A point. So rod A, B, 60 mm long. Oscillating point is a top point. It, it will oscillate just like a pendulum. Correct? Now the oscillation degree is given the rod is oscillate first, first towards right. So rod vertical position is this. From this vertical position, it is oscillate towards the right first. How many degrees? 60 degree. So rod position is vertical, it is oscillating towards right. So we have to use this D. Where the zero will be match at point B and vertically we are counting the angle 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So this is 60 degree towards right. So we will draw extreme right position. So I unlock the tractor, match it is 60 degree point and draw construction line. So this is extreme right position of rod when it is swing or oscillate towards right. Now it is said that it is oscillating towards left by the same angle from its vertical. So vertical position will be so oscillating towards left. So degree is the same, 60 degrees. So again, now this time I am using this to circle like this on second side, left side. So matching again zero point with a B. And counting the degree 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So this is 60 point. Now again, I am drawing x to left position. So this 60 degree point and drawing x to left position. So this is our rod AB initial vertical position. In fact, move to the right by 50 degree in return only read reach to again vertical, then to a left by 60 degree and return again vertical. That's me it complete one cycle. So we have to draw the cycle path. So this will be our center oscillating point. Pencil is up to rod length A. It will draw arc up to X in by position and in the same way draw an arc up to X in left position. So this is it, oscillating part. So 60, 60, 60, 60. So it means it complete one cycle. What will be the extra construction line we have to erase? So 
all extra construction lines will be removed. So raw initial vertical position is this x in right position 60 towards right, x in left position 60 degrees towards left. Now this is the oscillating part. We have to divide this complete oscillating part in equal equation. Minimum requirement is equal age. You may divide into equal 12 divisions also, but it requires more work, more drawing work. So we will divide in equal age. Uh, this is already 60 degrees. We will use proper uh, curve and marking 30 degrees towards right, 30 degrees towards left. So 30, 30 uh, degree divisions. So we are bisecting with 60 degrees. So this is 30 degree point. So 30 is 30, total 60. On left side also, total left side oscillation is 60 degree. So now this is 30. So left side 30 and second part 30. Now we will draw this 30 degree in the line. So this is 30 degree towards right. This is 30 degree towards Left. Now we have to mark the position of point P. Point P is initially at this point. So this is position of point P. It starts moving first to right to our divisions of oscillation part. It will look like four divisions, but in actual it is total eight. We will count. First, it will start moving for by one division, so it will reach to this. So, this is first point one. Then, second division two. During the return journey, three and four. Then, towards left, five. Then, six. Return journey, seven and eight. So, that means we have in actual divided this oscillating path into equal equation. Now the second task is our P point motion. P point is linear, U point is linear. It starts moving from A, reach to B and come back to its original position A. That means its total path is A to B and B to A. So as we divide this oscillating path, in total eight division, total eight equal division. So we have to also divide this straight path of P in total eight division. This total height is 60 mm. So suppose I divide this 60 mm in four parts. So each part of 15 mm. So same is 50. Then 30, 45, 60. So it looks like I divided this 1, 2, 3, 4. But in actual, initially P is here, which is first. Then second division, third division, and fourth division. Return journey, which is 5, 6, 7, and finally it reach. Eight. That means the total straight path is also divided into equal eight divisions. Now, the next task is we have to mark the position of point P. Because it is said that this rod is oscillating. That oscillating path is divided in eight divisions. But the linear motion and oscillating motion are simultaneous. That means when we oscillate to one division, if P from B, when it oscillates through two divisions, then your P point will move towards B by two divisions. So each time we will take the center of oscillating point B. First, when it oscillates through one division, so P point will be moved to one division towards B. So this will be our radius B21. And we will draw an arc until it cut one position. So oscillating position one. So this is our T1 point. 
Take this P1 point. When we oscillate one region, the point P will be on this line. And at the same time, it should be shifted one division towards this. So it is shifted one division towards this. So this is perfect. Similarly, when it oscillates two divisions, so point C will be shifted towards B by two. So this is second point. So we will take a radius up to two, draw an R till it gets intersection with a six, two position. So this is our P2. Then three, so enter to three division. But three position, oscillating position is in a return journey from X to right. So this is our three lines. So we will take an R and get an intersection with a three line. So this is our P3. When it oscillates exact half, that means four division. So P point reach exact to B point. During half oscillation, it will reach to B and second half of oscillation, it will return back to A. So when it oscillate four division, one, two, three, four. So P point will move towards B by four division. So one, two, three, four. So P point will be here, P four. Now we will oscillate five division that is towards left. So this will be a five division oscillation line. So we will take center B, radius up to point five, and draw an arc until it cut five position. So this will be C five oscillating fifth position. We will oscillate through six divisions, so oscillate for the oscillation will be this, and P point will be at this. Six point. So we will draw an arc to the touch six six intersection, which is C six. Now we will it oscillate to seven division. So seven division line is this one. So B two seven position radius. Draw an arc seven seven intersection, which is C seven. Where this rod oscillates through complete eight division, then P point moves from A B and moves back to A again. So when it oscillates through complete eight division, rod will be reached to its original position, and P point will also reach to its original position. That means P A is the this initial original position of P. Now we got the all P points. This is initial P, first P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, and finally P8. We have to turn off smooth curve. If you have an elastic curve, use it. Otherwise, uh, due to the freedom, degree of freedom of curve, we have to rotate our page as per our convenience. So I uh, using this, so suppose we are the curve drawing. So, firstly, I am drawing very light. So, if it is not smooth, then I can erase and correct it. So, in the initial stage, we have to just draw with a very light line. And if we find it is perfect, then we will make it dark. So, after P2, P3, P4. So, it must be a smooth curve. Then after P4, P5, P6, so this side, P5, P6, it must be a symmetry also. From this side, 3 to 4, there is some gap. So 5 to 4, again, there must be the identical gap. Then 6, 7, 8, so I have to join this P8 with P7. Remember, first always draw very light. So, if there is any mistake, then we can erase and correct it. At the beginning, we need to draw a dark line, then whatever is the number, it will leave the mark. Now, suppose this is a perfect. So, in a single stroke, I have to dark it. 
This is my answer for this given statement. But remember, this time it is a single stroke. Rotate the page as per your convenience or drawing smooth curve. If you are using elastic curve, which is available in market, so it will be more easy by using elastic curve. You have to just mold that elastic curve to match all these points and tracing that path with the pencil so you get a smooth curve. So this is our final answer. So all remaining things are construction and this is our final answer. And this is known as Archimedean spiral. If anywhere it is asked to name the first, we have to label this as an Archimedean spiral. So this is our problem for one oscillation of the rod and C point moving from A A reach B and return back to A. Thank you.